It's been a while since I've done one of these. I better look at my last one and see how I did it. Because it's so damn cool. Well, that was just pure cringe. Speaking of cringe, the segue to my plugs. Hey, I stream on Twitch some days playing video games and may occasionally draw art. You should probably check it out at twitch.tv slash marvelousjarvis. And if you don't want to watch me play video games or draw, you can always check out the merch store, merch.streamelements.com slash marvelousjarvis, where you can buy something like this, but not this. As well as check out my Patreon, where you can actually get the line off for some of my drawings. Yes, I do do drawings, not just reviews of tech and every six years a figure. So the SH figure arts aren't really known for their anime figures. They tend to do more well with their tokusatsu stuff like monster arts and Kamen Rider lines, which we mentioned at the beginning of the video with that clip. The less on that, the better. For some reason, they tend to struggle more with turning an anime into a figure unlike other figure manufacturers, but for some reason, they got the Dragon Ball down to a T, as this figure looks amazing. It's like they're taking the model out of the video game and turned it into a figure for the ages 14 and up. See, it says it's intended for adult collectors and not for children under 14 years of age. So kids, fuck off. Yes, this character is an exclusive original character for the Dragon Ball Fighter Z game that came out some time ago. Look, I'm not that into fighting games, okay, but this design. Oh. This is Android 21 in her margin form, and she's based off Margin Boo, and like that character, she has a good side and an evil side. So basically Boo, but as an android who can go to a human form, and this makes no sense in the previous lore of Dragon Ball Z, but if Toriyama don't give a fuck about canon and established rules, then why should I? Why did I choose this version? Yeah, moving on. As you can see, the figure comes with some accessories, like this little donut that can be easily lost. Oh fuck, I've just lost the donut. There's a different pair of hands as well as faces to show her good and bad self. To change the face, you simply pop off the hair in front, then the face and see the pure terror, then pop on the new face, and then finally the hair. To change the hands, you simply pull off the hand, and pop the new hand onto the ball socket. Let's move on to posability now. So the head is on a boy joint, boy joint. Uh, the hair is on a, a boy joint, well, a swivel joint possibly. Um, it can tilt, do all that stuff, rotate, arms can rotate, swivel, a slight movement there, and then the elbows can bend, the hand can swivel, and there's also a bend on the uh, wrists. Coming up to the waist, the waist can is uh, cut in the middle, so you can do a slight ab crunch and move the wrist, waist side to side. Uh, Legs can spread out, knees can bend, rotate there, foot can, well, two toes can bend there, and heel can go here, and swivel here, and then the tail, there's a ball going up there, so it can move around, has a cut here, so it can swivel, and move around like, well, just swivel like that. Well, I guess I have to talk about the elephant room. And yes, it doesn't have a hard time standing on its own two feet because of them being so small. But you can use that tail to keep the figure balanced and standing upright. This does mean you're going to be limited on what you can do with the tail, despite its excellent poseability, unless you have a figure stand, unlike me. But this is an so damn cool figure, and if you're a fan of the character, or in my case the design, then you should totally pick one up. Like I did. At a convention. Before the dark times. Hey, that don't matter, especially when you have a Twitch chat. Well, somebody in chat just called me a cunt.